when we look at how these were built, just to, they each had their own bias and influence. They had specific um, influences by the people who created the content, the textbooks, the influence of that community. And so to say, um, just to, to point it out right off the bat is they're each accredited by NCCA and they have a great foundation, but each one is a little bit different bias. Um, when you take NSCA, which that happens to be kind of where I grew up and that's the, the organization that I was most involved in because I felt like I might want to work with athletes uh, when I, you know, as part of the population that I want to specialize in. And so when it came to choosing an organization, um, to be really honest, I'm a little bit of an overachiever. I, I finished with each one of those when I finished. Uh, uh, by the time I, I a, NSCA, ACSM, as I graduated, when NASM became available, I made sure that I understood what it was about. And I got, I, I became certified in that too. But the, the NSCA allows you a little bit more of programming and performance emphasis because of its influence in strength and conditioning has a very robust and, uh, physiology, anatomy, uh, you're going to go, go a little bit deeper into uh, adaptation based on exercise. And it creates, um, you know, a lot of college courses use it as a foundational course, uh, the text and the content. So that kind of tells you right there what kind they were really building it for that purpose. ACSM comes from a little bit more of a uh, academic clinical background. They involve a little bit more testing emphasis so they've created texts that even other organizations have used as a guideline for exercise testing. And so if you think that you want to work in um, more clinical set settings, cardiac rehab, um, you want more foundation and fitness testing, depending on or, you know uh, opportunities there, ACSM has been built to have a little bit more emphasis within that realm and around that research. And so really depending on on what you're aiming for that allows you to to springboard from there NASM came along a little bit later and it really was right after the emphasis of these physical therapists coming into the fitness world saying you know um functional training is a, a real thing functional movement is a real thing and they were one of the first ones that took a stab at function stab at functional anatomy and building a training model the OPT model around that and so they bypassed some of the more robust physiology that you had to learn a lot, uh, hormonal adaptation, all of that, that some of the other, organ other organizations require to really focus on more of the training piece, which is why a lot of um, uh, fitness chains really have said, you know what, this offers enough for a personal trainer to get started. 